What's up, fellas? It's day three. We're here at the Florida RV Super Show with our media pass, and we are about to show you guys the latest 2023 models from ATC, the aluminum trailer company. A uh, big specialist in the motorcycle industry to do a lot of small uh, trailers, aluminum trailers for motorcycles, and also big toy haulers and stackers. Let's go inside and take a look. The smallest one they have, toy hauler they have at the show, is this 19 footer. This is very similar, actually a little smaller than the one Christy and I had, but the hallmark of the ATC is it's made of entirely aluminum. There's very little wood, if any, in this trailer. The cabinets, the frame, everything on it, right down to the rims, is all aluminum. And they just, they just exude quality and construction from the, the framing of the door to the cabinets to the fit and finish, everything in here. It's, it's on par with what Featherlight used to do that the feather lights not really in the uh, toy hauler business very much anymore but ATC has picked up the ball where they left off and if you're looking for the highest quality they're expensive you pay a premium and even a small one like this is like 30 grand but they last forever they're generational trailers they're not going to fall apart like a typical trailer would this next one has kind of an off-road off flare to it it's got the big gnarly Westlake tires on there kind of an eat all-terrain look with the diamond tread plate wheel well. Um, this one, I believe, is a little bit bigger. Has the two bunks on the side. Actually, this one, this one's on sale for 19,000. See the all aluminum construction on the frame there, the flip down bunks. It's stripped of some of the accessories the other one had, doesn't have the air conditioning or a lot of the uh, camping accessories that one had, the other one had the microwave and everything, but I believe this is the least expensive one they have here. Figure 20 grand, gets you a, a decent entry level. Camper one that's not gonna fall apart, and give you trouble. That's the top of the line, we'll check that out one in a second. This is the third step up the ATC toy hauler model line. You can see it has a patio deck with the stairs. This is a dual axle, all aluminum. I believe this is. these are the best quality longest lasting trailers here at the show today um, unless you stepped up into something like a spacecraft you know half a million dollar upright as far as the affordable consumer grade campers um, look at the all aluminum construction on the floor I mean you can basically take this carpet out of here and rinse this out with water yeah this is marine grade carpet marine grade carpet and it's gonna last you the cabinets these are all made by ETC they build everything in-house uh, you don't you won't find a lot of Lippert cabinets and components in here uh, maybe some but less consumer grade products more commercial grade the only drawback to one of these is they don't seem to be as we had one of these I don't think they're insulated as well as uh, a traditional camper so for winter camping um, it's gonna be a little bit cold you're gonna be cold but if you're down in Florida and you want a trouble for a unit you can drag to the races every weekend and beat the crap out of for decades with having very little problems look up the ETC this is their 500 series this one's 26 foot long. This is actually, this is a nice camper. Yeah, it's got I a mean, really nice bathroom in here. Really nice bathroom. Actually, oh, wow. a lot of storage, too. Yeah, <laughs> huge storage. <laughs> I was for kind of really unit. surprised for really deep cabinets. Nice mirrors on the door. TV, stereo, fans, huge windows, too. So even though there's no slide room, you don't really feel cramped, especially with the patio deck, because it really gives you the, on a nice day with the door open, it really gives you the feel of a much larger unit. This is something you could tow easily with a Toyota pickup, like a, a half ton. Like gear closet for your... Yep, you, this would fit your full-size gear bag in here and get it out of the way. If you're a racer and you want a unit that you can take the family camping, uh, this might be a good, a good all-around solution. It has the Happy Jack bed. This bed here comes down so you sleep two up on the top and this flips down so you can sleep one there and that turns into a bed also so i believe you can fit two four probably five in here definitely get a family of four or five in here as long as you all get along well yeah. i'll be at the be some limited privacy but uh we've camped in one we christy you, you you love the one we had we had a lot of fun with it, it was, yeah I, I, we did actually this is a really nice layout i mean for for a small trailer Nice size fridge. Nice size fridge. 
I mean, you can't beat it. This is actually very, very good. Really nice quality. Everything's good. nor cold fridge. These are really expensive refrigerators. Um, probably the one of the more expensive fridges that you'll find. It's got a nice high point microwave, and the cabinets again are all like similar to something you'd, you'd find in a in a toolbox as far as the quality. And they're not going to fall apart. They're they're, no. they're aluminum. Yeah. Next step up the ladder is the PLA the 700 series. This is the 500 series. This is also a bumper pull, no fifth wheel, uh, dual axle. Um, this one has a black deck, which is really nice. Aluminum chairs, I mean, uh, aluminum stairs, not chairs. This one's a, uh, a few feet longer than the last one. You still get the happy jack, fold down bed from the ceiling, and the sleeping for five back here, and it has a master bedroom up front, so you could have two or three kids in a a full family and sleeping here and the, the beauty of this rig here is this table folds up against the wall so don't these chairs and so doesn't this right here so you have a full looks like about 18 foot of floor space you could definitely get six dirt bikes in here and then when you get to the track you unload them and you got a camper I've had two of these um, a, a smaller like 16 footer then I, we had an 18 footer that had a pop outside with a tent like a, a pop tent on the side and we loved it. It had, actually had tents on both sides. And excellent. You know, the only reason we sold it is Uncle Dale gave us a super deal on his on his 32 foot featherlight. So we sold ours, and they hold their value. We auctioned it off. It sold for on eBay for seventeen thousand, which was more than I had paid for it a couple of years earlier because the price of everything was going up. So we bought it used, kept it nice, and, and these will definitely retain their value. Unlike some of the trailers that are you know consumer grade, made out of balsa wood. This you get a rooftop AC, two rooftop ACs. Honestly, if you're looking for a tow behind, that's not gonna give you any troubles. There's no slide rooms, but let me tell you, the slide rooms are gonna fail eventually, guaranteed. The bottoms of them rot out. Even on the quarter million dollar ones, they have issues. Um, this, there's no slide rooms. Really nice big windows. And of course, with the deck, you feel like you're in a cabana instead of a cargo trailer, which is re really what this started life as. It's a exact same construction as the ATC which stands for aluminum trailer companies check this out all aluminum floors I mean that's quality they have e-track on the side so you could um, put the bikes in here sideways against the wall you would probably put four ATVs in here or definitely six motorcycles or four big Harleys probably get four full dressers in there a lot of flexibility a lot of longevity and a lot of value, you really get what you pay for with an ATC. Very few people will feel like they made a mistake after owning one of these for a couple of years, because you just don't really have a lot of problems with this type of unit. The structural integrity is second to none. You can see the side of this is all obviously aluminum too. Um, beautiful lighting package, nice mag wheels. Uh, they, they did the blackout on the aluminum, which is nice. Um, personally, I'd rather have raw aluminum because that can be polished to a chrome-like finish even when it's 20, 30 years old, whereas powder coating is gonna to require to be redone. So it does look sharp compared to the, the, the bare aluminum on here, but that bare aluminum can easily be polished like chrome and, and really add a nice touch to it. Steve likes the blacked out look, um, but I, I'm thinking 10 years down the road, it's gonna, the anodizing is gonna get faded or whatever. The next step up is the PLA 700 in a fifth wheel, which gives you the gooseneck living quarters bedroom in the front. This is a dual axle. You can see the raised roof line on it. And here's a here's a here's where the magic really is on the ATC. Take a look at the frame construction. All aluminum, welded, not glued. Completely welded frame structure that's really going to last basically while it'll outlive uh, us. These aluminum trailers are, are generational trailers, which means the next generation is going to enjoy it after you're gone. Um, you get basement storage in this one, like most big fifth wheels. You have this nice basement storage. This one has a more ride pull-out storage thing that, that actually slides right out. You pull this lever and the whole thing slides out. So you can put your gear bags on there or what have you. Very nice. This is a uh, gas pump right there. So you pull that out and, you, and it has a, I think, 30 gallon internal 
gas storage for your motorcycle so has a nice hitch setup on the front here uh, twin propane tanks in the front an Onan 7000 watt EVAP generator full pass-through storage uh, this one has a slide room on it which you don't see too many ATCs with this now they're getting up into the bigger ones like like the top of the line one model we'll see in a second where you get two slide rooms on this side let's go inside and take a look diamond tread plate on the front aluminum it's quality quality construction that's gonna last a lifetime that's that's the hallmark of ATC coming in the back door you can see your nice aluminum steps leading to the nice aluminum patio and unlike all the other manufacturers that have Lippert uh, porch railings these are made by ATC not purchased by ATC they make these and they're all aluminum and I've seen even brand new ones Lipperts that are looking rusty because they don't put a lot of paint on them they don't powder coat them so the, here's an area where you can have no maintenance because the uh, the, the aluminum is not going to rust uh, you might have to touch up the paint you have three LED lights on the back uh, has a backup camera on it also and this is a um, I'll call this a two season door stepping into the back you've got a lot of room in here lots of headroom again that couch the table and both of the chairs flip up against the wall giving you a full looks like about 22 foot of floor space the wheel wells are drive up wheel wells you can ride which means there's a little ramp at the front so you can drive up onto those if you're ATV or dirt bike has a or ATC has wide tires big windows What do you think of this one, honey? This is nice. This actually has a pop-up believe it or not I saw that. Yeah, up outside. That, yeah, they, they have like I don't know a little Little oven. I probably omit the oven and go for storage space because it's so tiny and just use the convection microwave after walking through all the, the um but well, you do have a nice three burner stove what's your impression after walking through all the consumer grade um oh, ones that are made out of balsa wood you know this is about the most rugged you're gonna get especially for for people who are going to the track you know um it's easy to clean heck you can bring a hose in here you can actually hose it out <laughs> the floors are aluminum yeah, and, and you know, if that's the route that you, your lifestyle, then this is definitely what you should have. Not not something fancy dancy because it's just going to get destroyed. Absolutely. This, this will hold up to the boys playing or girls playing. Um, and it's just, you know, sturdy. Solid, I mean, it's solid, solid metal, it's, metal it's aluminum cabinet. Yeah, it's you not going to break. <laughs> yeah, if you were raising a, a family of moto kids, I can't think of a better unit than this to, yeah. you know, mom and dad have the real nice bedroom up here with a, a bump out on it so you can walk around, making the beds going to be easily. You can sit down right here like I am right now. And There's and, also, uh, this is all storage. This oh, lifts wow. up. Look at, look at that. Solid it aluminum. It lifts up and it's all storage underneath. So that's really, really nice. nice. Yeah, really nice. And the cabinets. Blankets. You, it's not very insulated. No, uh, sadly, uh, you're going to be cold if you're in the winter yeah, climbs. This but is definitely a summer trailer. This is a southern trailer. I, I think um, I think it, it definitely sets a standard that all of the um, consumer grade trailers, as far as quality construction, should you be have, judged by. Um, you, know? you could probably fit a washer in Look here. Look at that. Got, you know, uh, the. You want to pre-wash the, the gear before you get it home? Yeah, the units that are all in one that washes and dries it in one unit. Um, I'm glad we came over today to see these. They really, really are taking it to another level. Yeah, this is a really nice unit. I like this one a lot for, for you know, you just got a little more room. The doors. Ken likes to bring, you know, a motorcycle for every occasion. So you got to have your street. You got to have your off-road. You gotta have well. You gotta have a CR five hundred. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so you know this would house all of them. And you've got a nice shower here after the races. Uh, stand up shower. Everything's like you'd and see in a regular motorhome, but what's solid nice aluminum doors. This is if you're on the road and you have to pull into a rest area, you can get to everything. Yeah, exactly. You can get to the bedroom, the bathroom. The refrigerator. Whereas the, the quad slide units don't have that ability. Yeah. 
I mean, in our DRV, we do have the, the ability with the slides all in, we can get to the bathroom, the bedroom, and the refrigerator. That's something to consider, and that's one of the reasons we bought the JX450. That was a prerequisite, because we travel, when we're on the road, we're, we're moving from Florida to Connecticut, we're out to Ohio, we're 10, 20 hours minimum. So we want to be able to get into the bedroom, into the bathroom, and into the kitchen. Refrigerator, and yeah. we're able to do that on the JX450 we have. And that would never be a problem with this unit. Yeah, because you're all set on this unit. You want to go show them the top of the line model? If you Let's stuck with us this... If you stuck with us this far, guys, we're going to show you the top of the line. This one deserves a video all of its own, but let me give you a quick overview here. This is the 45-foot fifth wheel, top of the line. It is just as tall as a semi. It's 13 and a half feet tall. And uh, at the front, this would look really good behind a, our Volvo semi. Triaxle, commercial grade suspension. Same thing I said about all the other ones, all aluminum construction. This one is... Uh, has slide rooms on it also, and it's got a patio deck on the back with an enclosure, which is really nice. This is called the 700 Toy Hauler model, model 4313, if you want to check it out on ATC's website. Really nice. Huge garage space. A sliding door to separate the gas-powered dirt bikes, or if you want to put a Jeep in the back. Um, the other feature you get with this is you get a big bunk up in the top there yeah. uh, with a ladder so to store gear bags or to, for kids are sleeping up there. And you've got the Happy Jack. This one's got a double. Is that a double Happy Jack? I think it is. Yeah, there's another Happy Jack right here. Yep, so that comes. You've no, got... there's only one. Oh, okay. No, this is just a bunk. This is the Happy Jack. No, this is the deck. This is pretty cool. Whole Look, look at this. this. This has an actual ceiling on it. Yeah. I've never so seen I this before. Know how this works? Actually, this or is the. How it holds up. This is the ramp door. This, yeah. That goes down, and then if you see these two metal supports right here, this flips down, so you have a full. This is something you would leave open. You know, in most RVs, when it rains, you got to yeah. close the door because the doors are made out of wood and they'll yeah. rot. On this one, you have the upper. Uh, it's actual roof <laughs> made out of aluminum. And it tapers down so the water comes off the back. So this, this you could absolutely set up some cots in here or this leave your bikes out here if, if it was raining and not worry about it. That's pretty fantastic. Yeah, that is, this is pretty, I don't know how durable it'll hold up. Oh, uh, it's, it's, it's ATC, I'm sure. I, I don't know about th this part, the fabric, but the, yeah. the aluminum's not going anywhere. So the top of the line model gets you this extra room in the back here off the deck it's got the queen size bed that comes down from the ceiling right here and then this turns into a queen size so you can fit four there and then you could sleep two more kids up on the top there looks like it's got a unique air conditioning system i'm not sure what kind again aluminum floors and these are just a um, removable carpet with e-line already recessed in the floor so an unlimited number of attachment points to put your motorcycles or your jeep in here Nice storage cabinets with uh, storage on top of them, a spot you can set. And this flips down to a bed too. Nice kitchen, L-shaped kitchen with a full-size residential Norco refrigerator. These are a cut above the rest. This is um, really nice. Really well built. High point microwave. This is the top of the line ATC. Um, be lighter. It'll be lighter than a, a comparable wood trailer because it's all made out of aluminum. Nice quality furniture. I'd probably prefer a, a, a dinette there, but um, what well, do you think, the Christy? Chairs, the chairs swivel around, and that is your dinette. Nice bathroom. This could be towed with, with a one-ton truck, mm -hmm. unlike the DRV, which is which you can, but it's 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 a. Some of the larger fifth wheels that are really, really quite heavy. This one's going to be light enough because it's aluminum. Master bedroom is really nice. Very nice setup in here. Similar floor plan to most large fifth wheels. You've got a huge closet in the front here. I like the fact that you actually have like a, a little desk. That's cool. I'll have to screenshot this because this is exactly what we want to put in our stacker. 
up in the mezzanine, a small little desk for Christy. Yeah, that's perfect. I wish I had a tape measure with me. That looks about perfect. But, um, yeah. Giant wardrobe. Wait, giant. Huge. I presume there's storage underneath the bed here. There's yeah, the deep. entire underside of this is storage. You can fit a lot of stuff in there. And there's a uh, closet right there. Charging stations on your side of the bed. Someone commented it's it's simpler than some of the other RVs you see, but there's a beauty in that. There's less stuff to break, and what is here is very unlikely to break because it's commercial quality. You're not going to have a lot of trim pieces falling off of this or the typical problems with RVs having to brace the, the bed so they don't fall apart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the actual bed frame, we just lifted it up, is all aluminum on the bottom. It's unlikely to bend or break. It definitely needs some um, there's your power control center with a nice storage up top there or an additional spot for a queen size bed if you want to if you got a big family with lots of kids riding dirt bikes or ATCs or whatever you get a double a double sided sink here huge pantry look how deep that is wow lots of storage this is this is in a little slide room here apparently. See this? This is this is a small slide room. So this is a, has two slide rooms on it. Check them out online, guys. At ATC. They also make stackers. We'll show you the stacker and then we'll wrap this video up. Check them out online if you have any questions. I'm sure they'll be happy to tell you whatever you need to know. You see these at the races quite a bit too. Usually these are hauled behind a big diesel pusher. Um, this is a triaxle stacker. It's 13.6. This is a 900 series stacker. It's 29 foot, three and one eighths inch tall, uh, long, and 13.6 tall. The interior length is 24 foot on the floor. Same traditional ATC quality here. Their lifts are spectacular. I asked them if they sell these because I'd put one of these in my stacker if I could get get one. But they don't sell them. You have to buy it in their trailer. Yeah. But I think they, they would pretty much set the standard of quality for lifts. I'm going to guess this is a 16-foot lift. Nice polished. You can't even look at it. It's so bright. Polished aluminum. Or stainless, excuse me. On the back, rubber coin flowing, carpeted walls up about three feet. All aluminum on the inside with a world-class lift set up. Cabinets in the front. It's got a small mezzanine up here, probably, oh, I don't know, five feet to put. You can use a lift to lift up heavy items like tires or whatever and put up there. But this is a hot setup with a side door, so it makes it easy to get out of your car or Jeep once you pull it in here. Or if you want to create some insulation, uh, air circulation on a hot day like today. Really nice setup. Everywhere you look on the ATC, the fit and finish and quality is just next level. Everything's really well done here. These center uh, decks right here actually pull out. So if you wanted to drain the oil on your car or use this as a lift while you're at the track, you can do that. This, um, this whole piece comes right out. So if you had to pull a tranny or something, it's, it's kind of like not only getting a stacker, but getting a lift. And with a rubber coin floor, it's impervious to, to uh, damage by oil or gasoline. <coughs> nice cabinets in the front here. Really well done. I can't think of a better stacker on the market. Three big batteries in here. Super nice. It's an outside view. If you're interested in getting an ATC, call your local dealer in Connecticut. That's Trailer Depot. They'll hook you up. Thanks for watching. God bless America. And American made companies like this that are bringing quality products to market to set the standards of product you can be proud of if you invest your hard earned money in it. Have a great day.